Hi, I'm Adam Pennell, and today we're making sushi, but vegan sushi, using the Regal Red Chili Number no. 5 sauce. What I'm going to do is show you how to turn the humble watermelon into something that kind of resembles tuna. Now that sounds crazy, but believe me, this works. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to have the tuna or the watermelon, whatever you want to call it, two ways. What I want to do is take a big thick section out of the middle to start with. So we're going to take a slice down there, beautiful colour in there. And then we're going to take a sort of inch and a half slice out of the thickest part to begin with. This is going to become a sashimi. And then I'm going to cut this into inch long sort of thickness lengths. Second up, I need to try and slice a very thin disc or two out of this piece of watermelon. First thing we're going to do is hit it with some salt. Now it looks like a lot of salt, but you'll see by tomorrow, when this has been in the fridge overnight, loads of moisture and that salt is going to be drawn out and it will be in the bottom of the tray that it's in. So don't worry about the salt content at this stage because it's not going to be in the finished product. I'm going to hit it with some black pepper as well, not too much, but just to give it a little bit more of a savoury quality than the sweetness that we're used to. So the salt and pepper on the, on the melon is starting to turn this into something savoury, which the fish obviously would be in sushi. I'm going to add some chipotle flakes. Now these will be rubbed off tomorrow, but they are going to give a brilliant kind of depth of umami quality that we expect from this kind of fish. If it was fish, but it's fruit. What we're going to do now is drop this onto a tray and it needs to be hovering, uncovered on a board like this in the fridge overnight and allow the skin to kind of dry out and then it will toughen up. So I'm going to drop that in the fridge now and we'll see it tomorrow. 24 hours uncovered is all it needs. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to prep the filling for this sushi. So we have our sushi rice uh, pre-boiled, Follow the instructions on the packet. It's really simple to make. You just need some mirin and to cook that for half an hour, but it takes a little bit of time. So you could even get this done the day before. So I'm going to just slice that in half and then in two quarters. Take a nori sheet, and make sure it's shiny side up. Get your hands wet because the sushi rice is sticky but the wet, your wet hands will allow you to pick the rice up without it getting stuck to your hands. So take a small ball of rice and you want to cover a thin layer right across the rice, leaving around about two centimetres to an inch along the bottom. Next, to add some extra flavour to the sushi rolls, I'm going to brush on some of our Regal Red Pepper Sauce from Chili Number no. 5. Okay, now we're going to take some of our cured watermelon faux tuna. Slice there. Another slice next to it. Try to fill the hole of the nori sheet or near enough. Okay, and then we're going to take some avocado. Chili and avocado are like best mates. And we want to make sure you get a little bit of everything in every bite. Okay, next we're going to come to roll it. So we're going to pick up the rolling mat, holding the melon and the avocado in place, just to allow that rice to sort of ride up the side of it and the first bit of nori to grab on the top. Then, tucking everything in as you go, and rolling all the way up until the top, or the edge of the rolling mat hits the rice. Then squeeze, remove and roll further and then tuck in again. Give it another squeeze. Take your time with this. Bring the mat up. And then just gonna keep rolling all the way. Stop again. And now all we need to do is just take our finger bowl, run some water along 
the edge of that to seal. And continue to roll the mat all the way out, keeping the pressure on. And I just like to keep rolling until she completely comes out the other side. And there we have a sushi roll. Wet the blade, water's your friend when you're making sushi, it really stops everything getting sticky. Oops. And then where you think is bang in the middle is the best place to go. So I'd say it's around about there. That might be on the where the two meets, we may not see. Oh, we do, we can see inside both of the fillings. Okay, next up using the slices of watermelon, we're gonna make some nigiri, which is essentially the most simple form of sushi. It is a mound of rice with usually a slice of tuna or a slice of salmon or maybe a butterfly prawn over the top of it. But today we're gonna to use this cured. So slicing straight down, all the way through. Then we're gonna hit our mound, or a little ball of sushi with a little bit of our regal red. Just lay that over the top. And then just use a knife to slice where we need it to finish. Finally, give them a sprinkle of white and black sesame seeds to finish. dipping sauce using the regal red pepper sauce, equal parts of that, rice wine vinegar and soy sauce. So the red peppers in the regal red pepper sauce have a natural sweetness. So we've got heat, sweet, sour and salt going on in there, which brings to me umami, which is exactly what sushi is all about. And there we have it, vegan sushi. Who'd have thought it? Brought to life completely with our Regal Red Chili Number no. 5 sauce and a little bit of innovation. Give it a go.